everyone, Kelly here with today's Hip Tips. And today on episode 31, we are going to be talking about one of my favorite topics, and that's assistive technology. Many of you have probably already heard this, these two terms before, and maybe some of you haven't, but maybe you've heard it at My Possibilities, maybe you've heard it at school before you came to MP, maybe you heard it at work, but what is an assistive technology? Well, assistive technology are tools that we use to adapt or adjust to a task. For example, my eyes have a really hard time seeing things that are close up if I don't have my contacts in. So my assistive technology is contacts. And I'm sure that sounds really weird because technology I automatically think, okay, flying cars, really, really fast trains, cell phones, computers, all these different things that are electronic, right? But in this situation, technology just means a tool that is different from what we're usually used to using it for. So another example could be, like, if my legs aren't working very well, I can use a walker or a wheelchair if they don't work at all. Maybe my back really, really hurts and I have to sit up really straight and I have a brace, which I used to have to wear a brace before to help my back stay straight. That's an assistive technology. It is something that is used to help me adjust to my situation, right? I have a crooked back, I wear a back brace. I have trouble seeing, I wear contacts. Maybe you are not able to see either. Maybe you wear glasses instead of contacts. Maybe light is something that you're really sensitive to. So maybe you have glasses that change into sunglasses when you go outside. It could even be something like maybe you're unable to hear. So you have hearing aids, right? These are all different forms of assistive technology that assist us in doing something. I like to think of them as little helpers. They are there to help us do the job or the task. Maybe it's really, really hard for your hands to use a pencil like this. So you use something different to help you grasp better or differently. Sometimes for people that have a hard time using their fingers very, very intricately, like maybe pressing keys on a keyboard is really hard for them there are bigger keys so that they're able to push them. And I don't know if you've seen those calculators that are like this big and the buttons are like this big, that's assistive. It helps us do a job that maybe we're not able to do. Now, hand in hand with assistive technology is modifications and accommodations. Now, both of those words are like this long and if I say them too fast, it's just like a jumble. But an accommodation is the process of adapting or adjusting to a task. So it's a process or of adapting or adjusting to a task. Think of it this way. You go to class and your instructor gives you a worksheet that looks like this. And you say, oh, I cannot read. Reading is just not my strong suit. So what does your instructor do? Instead of giving you a sheet with words, maybe they give you a sheet that looks like this, where they use pictures and colors so that you don't have to worry about reading. That is an accommodation. And the tool that might help you in that situation is maybe you have somebody next to you that helps you read the question, or maybe somebody next to you is pointing or naming the colors, right? Another thing is, is if this is too small, an accommodation might be that I make letters really big. And the assistive technology or the tool is using a magnifying glass, or maybe on your phone, it has a magnifier, which makes things bigger. So those are accommodations and assistive technology, and it's how they go hand in hand. Another really big one is, I have noticed that people use devices like their cell phones or an iPad or one of those devices to write the letter, type the letters, and then they'll show you 
or even pictures, which they call pecs. And these pictures or devices are assistive technology to accommodate for somebody who is not able to talk. So they're tools for people who cannot use their voice or maybe they have a voice but are not able to express how they're feeling. A picture or a device can accommodate for that. It helps them out. And so they're able to communicate. I encourage you when you go out into the community or when you go back to my possibility to look around for all the different accommodations and assistive technology that we have. There's braille on signs. Signs are colored. Maybe signs are really, really big. Maybe they're in different languages. Maybe you see pictures of somebody in a wheelchair because there's a ramp and they're able to use that ramp instead of going up the stairs, right? That is what is important to be able to get into a building. And even if it's not as big like a ramp, it could be something very small, like a button that you push to open up the doors if you're not able to open up the doors on your own. So there's a whole lot of different things out there that assist us in adapting to a task or a process. And it's hard sometimes to know what we need, what tools we need to do a job. So my encouragement is to just try to do it first. Try to do the task in front of you first, and then your instructor or your job coach or whoever's around you can help you find technology that benefits you doing that task. For example, if your instructor does hand a sheet that looks like this with very small writing and you're just finding it very hard to read that, advocate for yourself. Talk to your instructor about, hey, can we make those words bigger? Can you give me pictures? Stuff like that because although it may look different, we're all still doing the same task. And if that means that you can do the same task as everyone else, then that's the goal, right? We all do things a little bit differently, and that is perfectly unique and what makes us each individuals. So don't forget to advocate for any type of tool that you can use to help you adjust to a task or help you get the task done. I use them all the time, and so do everyone else in the world, even if we don't even realize it. So look around, look in your community, look in your home for things that you already have, which a lot of us do, and let me know in the comments below what assistive technology you use. All right, everybody, have a great day.